How's it going everybody? Jared here for the Smoking Android here to show you guys how to install the Atrix tablet ROM for the Motorola Atrix 4G. Um, obviously you're going to want to make sure you have root and clockwork mod recovery installed. Um, so as soon as you're ready, go ahead and head over to the link in the description I've posted below. And um, once you're here, you go ahead and you'll notice right away that there's just some uh, random information about the ROM like usual. Um, but we're going to go ahead and scroll down. And there's some screenshots for you guys. And we'll go ahead and scroll all the way down to ROM version 0 0.3. You go ahead and down click on the link there, download that, and also make sure you have a Google Apps. It could be this one. Um, I have a different one, so it'll work for me. But uh, all right, so now once you've downloaded uh, all those files, you go ahead and just connect your PC to your computer and just drag and drop the ROM file onto the root of your SD card. And once you've done that, let's go ahead and take a look at how to install it. All right, so now that we have everything loaded onto our SD card, um, what you're going to want to do is boot into Android Recovery. Um, and in order to do that on the Motorola Atrix, you just simply hold down the power button and the volume down button. Um, as soon as you see the little light sort of blink, you can go ahead and let go of the power button, or you can keep holding it if it makes you feel more safe. Um, and once you once it shows a little um, um, Android thing there, it'll say you'll notice. Uh, just go ahead and click the volume down button until you find Android Recovery. Once you find Android Recovery, go ahead and press the volume up button, and it'll say entering Android Recovery mode. Uh, once it gets in there, you'll notice that I have um, Clockwork Mod Recovery Touch installed on my device. Um, I definitely recommend getting that. So, anyways, once you're in here, um, first thing you're gonna want to do, like. Ev like every time you install a ROM um, is obviously create a backup. So in order to do that, you just head on to backup and restore and you're just going to click backup. And what that'll do is just create a complete backup of your entire ROM that you had before, just in case anything goes wrong um, during the install process, you can always revert back and restore to your original um, ROM that you were using before. So it, and everything will be hunky dory again. So anyways, once you've done that, um, you go ahead, click go back, and we'll head on over to, now this method of wiping everything is a little bit different than what some other people do. Um, I kind of adopted it from QBKing77 um, on YouTube. Uh, it, it just seems like a more thorough, uh, thorough method of uh, wiping everything and, and just making sure that there isn't any data rolling over from the last ROM that you had. So what we're going to do is head on down to mounts and storage. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And then the first one we're going to want to do is format system. And we're going to go ahead and confirm that, yes, format. And that'll take just a moment. By the way, I guess I'll take this time to um, mention uh, that I will be doing a review on this ROM as well. So keep an eye out on my channel for that one. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. All right, so we've done that. We formatted the system. Next, what we're going to do is format cache. So we'll locate format cache. If I can find it here. Oh, there it is at the top. Of, oops. Shoot, mount cache, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Where's format? There it is. Format cache, yes. That should go through fairly quickly. All right, we're done formatting the cache. The next one we're going to want to do is format data. So we'll click on that one there. Yes, confirm that one. So the next one on the Motorola Atrix that we'll be uh, formatting is pre-install. So we'll be formatting pre-install, yes, format. All right, so uh, what you're going to want to do next is click on wipe data and factory reset just to make sure everything's done. And we'll go ahead and confirm, yes, delete all now. All right, now that that's all done, uh, what you're going to want to go ahead and do next is select install zip from SD card. And then we'll select, choose it from SD card. And we can just go ahead and locate, scroll down. Uh, for those of you that don't have touch recovery, obviously you'll be using your volume rockers to move up and down and the power button to press enter. So we'll go ahead and locate, where are you? If I can find it here, there it is, Atrix tablet. Go ahead, click there. Yes, install. And this shouldn't take too long. All right, we're done installing it. So now just before you go ahead and click reboot, what you're going to want to also do is um, you're going to want to install your G or your Google Apps uh, package that you downloaded. So for me, I'm hoping that this will work because it's actually meant to work with Joker's um, Sanjima 9, but uh, we'll give it a shot just for shits and giggles. 
And so you're going to go ahead and install that. That should install fairly quickly. All right, so now that we've done all that, you can go ahead and click Go Back. And what we're going to go ahead and do and now is click Reboot System Now. Let's see if it'll uh, show us the... Well, obviously, let's, let's take a look at the boot animation before we cut out this video. All right, so there we are with our boot animation. Pretty sweet NVIDIA Tegra 2. I really like that boot animation a lot. And that's basically it, guys. That is how you install the Atrix tablet ROM on the Motorola Atrix 4G. Um, hopefully you like this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to us for the future, or in the future, for more videos like this one, as well as the review that we'll be doing on this particular ROM later on. Um, and until next time, the Smoke and Android, we're signing out.